Morning. So there's an expression that is often used in Patterson. I'm sure you know what I'm referring to. That anything goes. Well, today I'm joined by our leadership team at the Department of Public Works to prove that that is not the case. That anything does not go in the city of Patterson, especially when it comes to illegal dumping. We want to let perpetrators know that the city is watching you. We have our eyes on you. We have strategically located sensory cameras throughout the city to catch you. And we will name you and we will shame you. And to further deter this type of activity as far as illegal dumping is concerned, we're raising the maximum fine to $10,000 and a minimum fine to $2,500. Yes, please. And we see people dispose Everything. construction debris, old television sets, computers, car parts, even entire vehicles. Well, we're standing united. What is it? Boats. Boats. We've seen boats too. Man. <laughs> Mets jersey. Mets jersey. Stop that, will you? <laughs> Sounds like a sinking ship. We're here standing as a united front to let everyone know that Patterson is not a dumping ground. So at this time, I'd like to hear from our director of the Department of Public Works, Billy Rodriguez. Go get him, sir. Go get him. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I'd just like to thank the uh, Corporation Council um, yeah. and the City Council for yeah. uh, redoing the ordinance for, for dumping, making the minimum of 2500 and maximum is 10000 uh, like the mayor said, we do have cameras in certain places of the city. Um, and to give you more specifics on how many dumpers we've actually caught and how we're going about it will be our general supervisor, uh, Mike Jackson. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, over the last 30 days, we've been able to catch 12 dumpers. Mm. Um, we have strategically placed cameras in habitual spots. People seem to return to the same spots over and over again. Uh, it's a big threat to how our city looks and to the quality of life here in Patterson. Today we just want them to know that we're watching and we won't stand for it any longer. Uh, the litter culture that has grown mm. all around Patterson has to be stopped and this is one way of us coming together to make sure that it happens. We've been able to work with the police to do license plates to get all of the people who have been dumping. A lot of them have been from out of town. Hawthorne, Passaic, Fairlawn. They come into our city, they believe they won't be caught or it's just the cost of doing business. Yeah. With the raising of the fines, we'll stop that cost of doing business and make it unbeneficial for people to dump here in Patterson. Thank you. Thank you. So as you could see, we have extra eyes and we've already brought people to justice, 12 of them. And we'll Good continue morning. to do so. Yes. And we will get far more as a result of these strategically located sensory cameras and ratcheting up the penalties as far as illegal dumping in Patterson is concerned. So once again, I want to let everyone know our city is not a dumping ground. Thanks for joining us. And please, by all means, the floor is now yours. Well, it all depends on what's being dumped, what we're picking up. Um, what we used to do is just mix it with our municipal garbage and um, one dump and fee. But um, we're, starting to, we're starting to separate it from our regular garbage. And the tickets are, the dumping tickets are usually anywhere from $500 to $800 a box, just for one box of a dump. That's not, that doesn't go into the manpower it takes to, to, to get a, pick up a dump in how long it takes, what kind of equipment. Every dumping is different, so we might use different equipment for different sites. Like $1,000 Yes, yeah, yeah, we're, we're in the thousands. Yeah. yeah, we're talking maybe an access of 50 grand a year. Yep, that's it, well, that's it. Uh, while you're there, uh, <coughs> give us some of the weirdest, huh? strangest, largest. Yeah. Uh, we're talking refrigerators, uh, litter boxes, what are we, you know? But, uh, Newest one that we just got was somebody dumped a refrigerated, the uh, refrigeration part of a truck um, on a train track. So we, we had to pick that up. The whole back, the whole back of the truck. truck. Yes. <laughs> we got boats. We, we, we get boats. We get um, 
wagon, pull wagons, uh, tires. You know, tires, construction debris, um, all kinds of stuff. Is there, uh, it's kind of like there was a year ago, maybe, maybe the last couple of years are kind of blurred, but yeah, that's true. Like, there was a big quality of life push. Yeah. Yes, it is. They're actually wearing the jackets. Well, it's a work in progress. But that was modeled after what Texas did. Don't mess with Texas. It's an anti-litter campaign. Ours is called Patterson is Picking Up. So we have our work cut out for us as far as that is concerned. I think the director wants to elaborate a little we, further. Since that, uh, um, since that point, we do work closely with our community um, improvement inspectors and our inspectors. We do collab on, uh, on jobs like that. We try to get the most out of whoever's doing the dumping, try to get the most, or whoever pinpoint where it's coming from. Sure. Michael. Yeah, the, the tickets, I mean, the tickets will cover the cost of the cameras. Uh, a camera setup's around $4,000. It's for, for one setup, so it's, one wide angle camera and one license plate reader for every location. Um, we've luckily had some great partners uh, like uh, Habitat. Habitat, Habitat for Humanities who ordered us 14 cameras to do this. Uh, and, and they help us a lot because they are really concerned with quality of life just as we are. So hopefully down the line we'll have more partners to, that, to, to help us buy more cameras. Some of them are purchased by partners. Yes. And, and Yes. How many cameras total are, are uh, uh, just, just, just around the city? Right now, there's ballpark. about 35. And I'm sorry, the last question was fine. Sure, that's fine. Uh, uh, they were gone up from, from what? Uh, was nothing. No, it was, they, were, they were around 500 before. Now we're taking them to 2,500 minimum. Yeah, but what was the max before? There was none. Yeah, so now you're talking $10,000. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And also, just so everyone knows, today we're making our announcement relative to illegal dumping. Next week, I believe it's Wednesday, we're going to be launching, or we're going to be announcing Operation Clean and Safe. And we're going to use a Patterson-based company to help us with the corridors, to help us with areas that have been rife with trash. So we're going all out, and we're all in on this effort. Typically, it's the, I would say, and then I think you can elaborate on it, sometimes it's the business districts or the railroads. Or where we dump it. Yeah, yeah, where they the dump river. it. Yeah. yeah, mostly the dead ends by the river, off the river. Um, a lot of entry and exit way, um, ways from the city. We get hit with those a lot. Um, King Street. That area, yeah, yeah, that we area get over complaints. there. King Street, that area over there. Oh, oh yeah, right, yes, right, right. Yes. We have the highest point in Patterson is Vista Park. People are dumping there while we await construction on it. I also would like to bring up to add even additional value to this conversation, our corporation council who worked, who was mentioned earlier, who worked on increasing these fines. That's Eamon A. Bushi. Okay. Thank you. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, thank you. Uh, Michael G. Jackson. <laughs> Thank you, Billy Rodriguez. Thank you, everyone, standing up here for our opportunity to just say a few words. Yes. Um, the mayor's made it a priority to ensure that we have the cleanest streets problem uh, as possible. We're in the process of tackling this dumping problem through the hard work of DPW, um, and we want to maintain the, the clean streets that they've provided. Uh, I've instructed uh, our municipal prosecutors to pursue the stiffest penalties available. Um, for all individuals caught illegally dumping, and hopefully that'll make one small dent uh, in this problem and continue the great work of our DPW workers and uh, continue the initiative of the mayor. Thank you, Thank mayor. you. Thank you, Corporation Council. Any further questions? Ming Dynasty. Oh. Right. That's a fair question to ask. Rodents, director, uh, Michael G. Jackson. The most pressing thing when picking up dumpings is tires, especially in the summertime. They're uh, a good threat for mosquitoes. They're breeding grounds. And those are one of the things we try to get up the fastest. Uh, I don't know if you know, but over the years, we've had a real tire problem here. We have a lot of tire businesses. Yeah. 
there's been a lot of dumping of tires. So that's one of our <coughs> biggest issues health-wise. Mm. On a, I don't know, a weekly, annual, weekly, yeah. weekly annual basis, is there a, a ballpark? Juan. Yeah. <laughs> this is Juan Hi. Hernandez, our Hi. recycling coordinator and clean communities coordinator. The last year was 3,200 tons of garbage out of the streets. Yes, we tomorrow we're going to start our clean communities. And it's going to be April, May, June. We're going to be every Saturday cleaning it up, covering graffiti. So we're gonna invite the whole community to get involved. Let's clean our front. Let's put some effort to support this campaign because at the end of the day, it's for us. That's right. Thank you. That was good. Well said. I think <laughs> that punctuates the press conference. What do you think? <laughs> All right, there you go. Well said, Juan. All right. The Thank last word. <laughs> Thank you for joining us.